Don't be intimidated if you are the only girl in the free weight section. You belong there just as much as everyone else does. Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about something so many of us struggle with, which is gym anxiety. Whether you are a beginner at the gym or you just feel intimidated stepping into a gym, you are not alone. Trust me, I have been there. When I started going to the gym, I felt like everyone was staring at me and I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. But over time, I found ways to overcome these feelings. So today I'm sharing my top tips on how you can build confidence in the gym because the gym should be a place where you feel comfortable because you are doing this for yourself and I don't want you to go into the gym and feel anxious and feel insecure because you're amazing and you can do this. So let's get into this. Let's start off with why do we even feel gym anxiety? For a lot of us, it is the fear of judgment. Like people are watching every move that you make. I promise you, nobody's judging you. If they're judging you, they're not a good person, honestly, <laughs> because I have never judged anyone in the gym for being a beginner. I do judge the man that, you know, make these screaming noises and annoy everyone in the gym. I sometimes look around at the room. I don't know, I like to look around and see what other people are doing. Or when they're pretty gym girls, I like to look at them. So maybe someone is just admiring you for being pretty. Maybe you also feel unsure on how to use machines, which I totally get because this was my biggest fear when I started out. Maybe you're also comparing yourself to others because they are more advanced, they do different exercises, maybe they look super fit. I also had that feeling in the beginning all the time when I saw these very fit gym girls hip thrusting I don't know how many kgs and I was like oh my gosh I don't even know how to use the barbell <laughs> here's the truth most people in the gym are so focused on their own workout everyone is in their own world just think about you if you're walking somewhere down the street you're in your own world it's the exact same thing in the gym also I think that the gym community is very supportive let's start with the action tips on how to build confidence in the gym number one is to start small don't go to the gym when it is super crowded which means in the afternoon go maybe super early in the morning or super late at night i've been going to the gym now for five years and i was at the gym for the first time in the afternoon and i think now my fear of going in the afternoon is a little bit smaller <laughs> and only stick to one area at the gym so for example you can start off by just using a cardio machine checking out the gym if your gym layout allows that or you start with very simple exercises where you just need dumbbells or a resistance band or body weight and you go into a corner you know there's always this not so busy corner at the gym and then you just stick to that corner until you feel comfortable coming out of there and go to the rest of the gym number two is to educate yourself there are so many videos on youtube on tiktok instagram where you can see how people do the exercises how to have correct form something that i used to do was i would practice the exercises at home <laughs> every time i was unsure about an exercise i would practice it at home and see how it would look okay yes I was that insecure and I always had my workout in the gym screenshotted <laughs> and I always would look at the form you can ask someone at the gym if they can help you show you personally I was way too insecure to do that you don't have to even ask someone working there you can just ask someone in the room and be like, hey, can you show me the machine? Because sometimes you also switch gyms, okay? Now I just switch gyms. I have no idea how to use any of the machines at the moment. And I might have to ask someone to show me how to use the machines because they are sometimes very tricky. Once you know how to use the gym equipment and once you know how to have correct form on your exercises, I promise you, your confidence will skyrocket. Number three is to plan ahead. Please don't ever go to the gym and be like, I'm just gonna see how I feel and do whatever. No, 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 no. I did this the first time. It was absolutely horrible. Okay. It didn't work out. It's not fun. It's just, you just, you just want to cry. Like I said before, I always screenshotted my workout and then I followed that workout in the gym. If I felt too intimidated to do one exercise, maybe because uh, there were too many people and I didn't want to use that machine, I skipped it for the next time when it was less busy. Okay. So that happens. That happened to me all the time. I was like, today I'm gonna use the cable machine. And then it was super busy and I was like, no way, I'm gonna do this the next time. Always have your workout ready, 
always know what you're going to do at the gym. Number four, wear something that makes you feel confident. This helps me immensely. If I have a cute gym outfit, I feel like I'm on top of the world. One of my favorite things of all time, okay, is buying active wear and wearing cute active wear to the gym because th there's no better feeling, right? Like this is, this is the reason I'm going to the gym because I want to wear cute active wear, you know? <laughs> I used to never wear makeup to the gym and you totally don't have to, but I have to say I do feel more confident confident on the days when I'm wearing my makeup. I also feel confident when I'm not wearing makeup. Don't get me wrong, I still go to the gym. I have days where I don't wear makeup because I just don't wanna do my makeup just to go to the gym. But when I have a very low confidence day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna go to the gym. I don't want anyone to see me. I put on my cute gym fit, I put on my cute makeup and then I go to the gym and I feel confident because I look in a way that I feel super, super, super confident. Number five is to find friends or family members that go with you to the gym. I did this also in the beginning. I went with a friend. I was too scared to do this on my own. Okay, I mean the first time I ever went, I went on my own, regretted it, then I went with a friend. I remember when I switched gym, I asked my mom if she could just join me <laughs> to make sure she walks around with me at the gym to know where all the machines are so that I don't look completely lost on my own. Ask someone. Ask someone, even if they don't want to join the gym, maybe they can just join you in checking out the gym. When you are two people, it feels less embarrassing to try out machines, it feels less embarrassing to walk around in the gym, and it helps so, so much. And also have someone check on your form. Number six is to focus on progress, not perfection. Instead of comparing yourself to others where you never know how many years they've been going to the gym, focus on your own progress. I know in the beginning it feels like there is no progress, <laughs> but focus on your small progress. Maybe your form got a little bit better. Maybe you felt a little bit more confident. Maybe you stayed on the treadmill for five minutes longer than the day before. For me, a huge win all the time was when I was trying out something new, when I started using the cable machine, when I started using the barbell. Everything felt intimidating in the beginning and every small step was a victory. And also give yourself credit for going to the gym. Just showing up to the gym and just going there is such a big achievement. So be proud of yourself if you made that decision, if you made that step, celebrate yourself, be proud of yourself. A mindset shift that I wanna give you on the way is that everyone started somewhere. Even the fittest person, even the girl with the biggest glutes was once a beginner and had no idea what she was doing, okay? And the gym isn't a competition, okay? The gym is for personal growth. You're doing this for yourself. Of course, we have like aesthetic goals, but you also want to be, you know, fit and feel good in your body and do something in the long term. For the longest time, I thought that I do not belong in the gym, okay? I was too afraid to take up space. I was too afraid to use the barbell, to use the dumbbells, you know, where all the men wear. Forget about the men. Don't be intimidated if you are the only girl in the free weight section. You belong there just as much as everyone else does. I know it takes time to learn this, but now I know I can take up space too. I can use the bench because I need it. I can bench press my marshmallows. I can do whatever I want at the gym because I pay for my gym membership and I belong there just like everyone else, okay? There's no one that belongs there more than you. I feel like this is so huge. Once you learn this, that you belong there as much as everyone else and to take up your space in the gym, game changer. Game changer, you will never be the same, I promise you. Something to remember is it is only embarrassing if you choose that it is embarrassing. A lot of embarrassing things happen to me in the gym, okay? But it's only embarrassing if you choose that it is embarrassing and I choose that it's not embarrassing. I don't care, okay? Yes, I hit my head, so whatever. Yes, I didn't know how to use the machine, so yeah, whatever. I use it for the first time. Hmm? <laughs> Why would you think that it's embarrassing if I've never used that machine in my entire life? I know building confidence in the gym can take a while, but with small steps, I promise you will get there. Sometimes it will feel like it will never happen, but just keep going, keep celebrating your small wins, your small steps, and you will see it will get better and better and better and better, and the gym will be something you enjoy so much more once you get over your gym anxiety. And finally, have the confidence and take up space 
in the gym. Let me know in the comments what is your biggest gym fear or which wins did you have in the gym? How did you overcome gym anxiety and how did you build confidence? Have you any tips that you want to share? If the video helped in any way, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video and share it with someone who might also need it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope it helped. I'm cheering you on. I'm wishing you the best luck if you're starting out in a gym. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!